Applying a pre-mask to large format images that are printed to a pressure sensitive vinyl is an absolute must. However, applying those pre-masks with a handheld squeegee, well, that's a lot of work. But doing this with your compadre is a breeze. Now, pre-masking protects the vinyl graphic from stretching when the release liner is removed. Without pre-mask, and here's a graphic with the pre-mask. You can see how even when the release liner is removed, the pre-mask over the top keeps the graphic from stretching. This helps during the mounting or installation process. And the pre-mask also protects and covers the surface of the image to keep it from being damaged. So let's see just how easy it is to web up the compadre for pre-masking. I'll start by inserting the supply shaft into the roll of material. Place the material onto the compadre by depressing the shaft, swing the other end into place, and let it retract back. Before we web up the pre-mask, I want to go over the machine settings. I've set the unwind brake tension for the pre-mask to four counterclockwise rotations. I've got the left and the right shim wheel set to a negative one sixteenth, and I've got the rollers in the up position. The speed's been set to a comfortable five feet per minute. I'm going to use a leader board as we've done in the past to get the material into the nib. But first, let's take a nice wide grip of the pre-mask and pull some material down onto the table. Now I only want to lift the table up to allow the pre-mask to drop below the table and then I'll return the table to its resting position. Using the leader board, I'm going to place it firmly into the nib, nice and parallel to the rollers. Now with a little forward pressure here, I'm going to set the rollers in the down position. The print I'm working with is a little long, so I've rolled it up and I'm going to make use of the print holder. Take the leading edge and pull it up onto the end feed table. When you start the laminator with the foot switch, it's very important that the leading edge of the print touches or is very close to the leader board when processing it through the laminator. Leaving too much of a gap will expose the adhesive from the pre-mask to the bottom roller and have a tendency to wrap around the bottom roller. To avoid this, Keep the leading edge close to the leader board as you depress the foot switch and start the laminator. Once the print is in the laminator, stop the laminator and go to the back side. By doing this, you can come around to the back side of the laminator, grab the leader board, pull a little bit on it as you place the laminator in the auto runner forward mode. This way, if you have any exposed adhesive on the leading edge, from the pre-mask, it won't stick to the bottom roller and try to wrap around. Now once this is started, you can relax and let the print exit the laminator. As we get close to the end of this graphic, we'll want to go around and cut the pre-mask short so we don't waste a lot of material. Let's look at how that's done. When the tail end of the print gets about two inches past the leading edge of the end feed table, go ahead and stop the laminator. Use a safety knife to cut the pre-mask loose next to the roller. Allow the pre-mask to naturally grip to the roller. Go ahead and depress the foot switch and finish out pre-masking this graphic. Notice here how we're not going to waste any excess material. Well, you can see just how easy it is to apply pre-mask with your AGL Compadre far faster, far easier, and far better than a handheld squeegee. And know that this pre-mask over this vinyl graphic is going to make mounting it through the AGL Compadre really easy because once the release liner is removed, the pre-mask will help maintain the dimensional stability of the graphic as it's being processed through the unit. And if you decide to leave the pre-mask on for a while, it can even help protect the graphic when it's being shipped. Now, if you happen to want to do small cut vinyl letters or smaller graphics, you may want to incorporate AGL's Easy Sled KP on the bottom supply shaft. I'm Dave Getter. Thanks for watching.